Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I just wanted to make a video of using OSM maps to be able to navigate using a GPX file since a lot of rides are coming up like the GOAT as well as the Rally at the Rocks where you might be uh, needing or you have a GPX file but you don't have a GPS uh, like a Garmin Zumo XT and you're wondering if you can use your phone. So the best way to do it is like uh, go to your app store I'll show this for both Android as well as iPhone. So right now let's start with the iPhone. So search from OSM map, OSM and basically. So OSM stands for Open Street Maps. So I've already installed it. So that's why um, I had the open option. If you haven't, you will have the install option. So follow whatever you um, uh, instructions on the screen and download these app. You don't have to pay for it. The free version is good enough. Now. So if you, for example, so you have a GPX file, maybe this is a GOAT trip, right? So you, they have sent you a link for a Google uh, Drive link for the GPX file. When you click on that, and if you have an iPhone, you would may get an um, error like unsupported file type. And then when you go here, if you really see, there's not really an option for you to download the file, at least whatever is showing up in this menu. It's actually hidden. So you have to click on open in. And once you have that, you would see save to files option. So I've already done that. So it's already saved. So let me go to my files and I'll see that Motocamp track is already there. So that's one thing I showed you how to, if you have a link to a GPX file, which is on a Google Drive, and you open that file and you get the error as unsupported file type and you don't see the option to actually download it you have to select from the three dot like hamburger menu on the right top hand corner and then you select open in and you should see it in files and it will be downloaded in the files so once you have the osm map application installed and you have the gpx file downloaded the next step is to just you know open it i am getting this message because i already have downloaded and opened it so you can overwrite uh, but you wouldn't if you're doing it the first time it will just pull up the map so i'm just gonna hit cancel now since i hit cancel it's not by default opening the map right so i have to go to um or maybe i just hit navigation if i go navigation it will uh, show me the different options so i am starting from my position to a destination which is not yet set so it says set destination but i don't care about that i want to use the gpx file that i downloaded say this motocamp 23 i click on that and now on the top portion you see the of the the entire uh trip like the the summary of the trip right it shows the track now if you look down it says 496 miles and it's going to take you 17 hours 44 minutes to complete the track and there's not many other details other than the elevation i don't think they have. so you can choose between different stuff so this track doesn't have much information so it's not showing okay now what you can do is just hit start the trip is 496 miles time is 17 hours 44 minutes i hope you can hear the turn voice left prompt. so that means this gpx file is giving you voice prompts now i just want to show you one more thing so basically, once you hit start, Speed limit 40. Uh, come to this option, which says follow track. And this where you got to remember. So there's one portion. After which eight tenths of a mile, direction. turn left. Oh, hold on. Let me just back out. Okay. So I choose this, right? And then I go to settings. And then what's important is the follow track. So once I am on the follow track, it, it gives me an option to reverse the track direction. That is something that I would select if I have to go back the same way I came for using the GPX points. And it might be that, you know, you dropped something from your bike, somebody got left behind, somebody fell and you have to go back. So if you have to retrace the path that you came through, then that is the option that you would select. But that's but let's look at the straight navigation first right so you want to start the track right 
So navig under navigation, navigate to start of the track, that's fine. And the navigation type says straight line and motorcycle. I have motorcycle one selected because I have different profiles set up. Don't worry about that. You can use whatever is default. So once you have this, um, come back out, um, settings. And then you see under these options, I have a simulate navigation. Please do that while you are at home and you are connected to Wi-Fi. What it would do, what it would do is, so if I do the simulation and you hit start, the trip is four hundred ninety six miles. Time is seventeen hours forty four so minutes. See, the the it's actually Turn left. the the app is simulating the trip, so it's actually making it feel like that you know I'm doing the trip. Why you should need to do this is because this will allow the app to download the sections of the map and other information that it needs to complete this whole route. So if you let it run. Uh, it gives you an idea that you're after on the eight right tenths track, of a mile, turn miles. left. It's uh, it's it will give you all those statistics, and then you can also verify that the voice prompts like the turn speed by speed limit forty are working. The second thing is if any file needs to be downloaded, it will be available. If you were act when the day when you were riding this track, and if you were out of cell phone coverage, okay. You can download individual states and other stuff on OSM maps, but the free uh, map allows certain like very limited amounts. And the other thing is I have in two tenths of a mile, turn slightly you know, left, hard. then like, keep I don't right. I have anything extra necessary information stored in the phone because I can run out of space. So if you do the simulation, you let it complete. Turn slightly left, sure then in 500 feet, turn slightly right. Do this navigation. And as you can see, the voice fronts are working. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. So I showed you how to, what app. So it's In two tenths of a mile, turn slightly right. Second thing I showed you Attention, is you have a GPS stop file. sign. And if it's on a Google Drive, how to download it into your files on an iPhone. Turn Third slightly thing I right. Is like how you open that just by clicking After on After eight tenths of a mile, and turn left. Like how to navigate, right? So I'll hit this and I'll hit cancel. You have been off the route for 268 miles. The then there are a few other things that I want to show you. Like once you come here, come to settings, you can see there are some navigation settings. And if you go under these, you have the navigation type set, you know, the voice prompts. So the, the few things that are important is the voice prompts. Make sure, you know, these are, are turned on and it's in the language that you prefer to hear uh, so that you will get the voice prompts when you order. And this is pretty easy and straightforward. I like this app is because Garmin, if you have a GPX file and it's a track, it doesn't show you, it doesn't give you turn by turn voice prompts. It just shows an error. You have to convert a track into a route for Garmin to actually give you voice prompts. In this app, you don't have to do that. Okay. The other thing you should remember is when the follow track, you see when you're starting the track, right? Navigation, navigate to start of the track. That's when you start the track. But say, suppose you have ridden part of the track, you took a lunch break, you went and filled up your gas and you want to join back the track. Make sure before you start navigation, come to settings, instead of start of the track, hit nearest point. Okay, because you want to join the track where you left or whatever is closest from that location that you took a break from and not uh, the beginning you don't want to go back up and start the whole trail again right so pretty intuitive but this app has so many options uh, it might be really overwhelming if you are using it for the first time as you use it more often uh, you will actually learn to appreciate you know how such a free app has so many different options and how powerful it is it's it's a truly uh, nice app, app uh, for any kind of navigation okay and then I would hit close and you hit start. The trip is 496 miles. Time so is 17 I hours, 44 minutes. Recap, so I showed you how to open a track. Turn left. I showed you how to retrace You have been your, off the route uh, for 269 back. miles. I showed you how to simulate. So that route you recalculated. Can the Distance 555 miles. Time is 19 hours, 50 launch, minutes. I think you should be good. And then I will make more videos and I'll show you more advanced features of how the, the, how powerful this app is and what else you can do for trip planning, for overview and other, other. it has bunch and bunch of stuff. It will take days and years. Like, I mean, it would take like, you know, a lot to explore all the options. But so far, I think if you would find, I just made this because I know a lot of people are planning on going to GOAT or at least some of the events that are coming up. 
and if you don't have a gpx you and you don't want to spend that money or whatever be the reason and you if you want to use a phone for navigation osm map is a go-to application and the free version works flawlessly there's one more app this is called the gaia gps this application also works pretty good and i would show some of the features on this app in my next video thank you guys ride safe